Strike one. Woo! So it wrapped around. Okay. Line didn't cut. No. The, bl the blade didn't look like it was damaged at all. Okay. But that was pretty slow speed. Um, and you see any any? Uh, let me just do a that? quick. Uh, I'm just gonna take a photo here. Let me get one with this camera. Turn off this. All right, so first inspection, it looks like it wrapped around as best we can tell with this. Okay, you might want okay. to, I think it cut, did it cut that too? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah it did okay. hit that. Uh, yeah. But I don't, you see any blade damage, any? Uh, I can know, not that I can see now. I mean, it was pretty. That's pretty slow. Yeah. Hello, it's Jim Powers, giving you a, a little um, commentary on some of the images you see here. Uh, this is uh, some still images uh, showing the line, showing the where the uh, drone props hit the uh, pool noodle that we had. Here it shows the actual uh, Dacron line wrapped around the prop. Uh, and then this next shot here basically is just another view. We had to remove the prop in order to get the uh, the line off uh, the prop. Uh, this shows a close-up macro photography showing some of the abrasion points on the line. Again, the line did not break, but it did show a little bit of wear from the high-speed props hitting it. And these next series of pictures are just kind of the data collection sheets we use to record uh, the results, draw a few diagrams uh, showing how the drone uh, contacted the kite line. Um, and uh, just you know a brief summary so certainly we have <clears throat> about four or five uh, clips uh, that we'll all have with the same kind of endpoint here and you can get some additional information uh, that's listed here uh, you can certainly just google uh, wind watcher kite and drone you'll find some of the information there thank you